Police in New York tonight releasing new details about the crash that killed veteran CBS News and 60 Minutes correspondent Bob Simon. Our Jonathan Elias joins us now with more on this. Jonathan. Well, David, Manhattan police say that Simon wasn't wearing a seatbelt at the time of this crash, but authorities say that's really not that unusual, especially because it's not even required in hired vehicles of which he was riding in the back. Simon now is being remembered as a legendary reporter and a gifted storyteller. We're going to pick up an American. Bob was a reporter's reporter, uh, a breed of foreign correspondent, really unlike anything that you see today. This is Phnom Penh's last line of defense. Simon came to CBS in 1967. Four years later, he moved to Saigon to cover the Vietnam War. He'd build a career in war zones around the world, the Falklands, Yugoslavia, Somalia, and nearly every conflict in between, spending decades covering the Middle East from Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv's large the largest square was invaded by sadness. He went where the news was, risking his life along the way. In 1991, Simon and his crew were held as prisoners of war in an Iraqi prison. He eventually wrote about the experience in his book, 40 Days. The farmer was Simon wasn't just a reporter. He served as a mentor to those following in his footsteps. One day, Scud missiles were raining down into Dharan, Saudi Arabia, where we had our bureau. We got all the people in the bureau together to make sure we had everybody, and we were going to run everybody down to the bomb shelter. But when we looked, Bob wasn't there. No Bob. He was on the roof, talking to CBS radio on the phone, calling in the story. And I remember thinking in that moment, got it. That's what a war correspondent does. It wasn't always business for Simon. His colleagues say he was a man with a full personality. What I think of when I think of Bob is laughing. Very dry sense of humor and a dry wit and um, had an edge to him at the same time. In 1996, Simon began regularly contributing to 60 Minutes. At the time of his death, he was working on a report about the search for an Ebola cure with his daughter, a CBS News producer. That final story from Bob Simon will air this Sunday on 60 Minutes. Not only a gifted writer, but he was rewarded for his talents. Bob Simon was honored with 27 national Emmys during his storied career. He was a 1962 graduate of Brandeis University, which today released this statement about Simon's death, quote, his commitment to informing the American public about pressing world issues during the past five decades embodied the Brandeis motto, truth even unto its innermost parts. Bob Simon was 73 years old. He leaves behind a wife, daughter, and grandson.